More than $580,000 worth of new radios are in the process of being shipped to the Jefferson City Police and Fire Department. The radios, paid for by ARPA money and state and local recovery grants, are part of the Jefferson City Fire Department's plan to fully overhaul their communication technology. ABC 17's Marie Moyer is live in Jefferson City tonight. Marie, the main focus of these radios is to improve overall communication among first responders. Megan Lucas, before this upgrade, communication between departments was a little bit more complicated as there wasn't a one-size-fits-all program to reach different radio frequencies. Now communication between districts will hopefully be much easier. Costing around $7,000 per piece, the new radios for the Jefferson City first responders were a top priority in expanding communication across departments. Both of these types of radios, have, 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 uh, like I said before, have been, been sought out for, for a number of years now. These radios should, should keep us in pretty good condition for a while, normally a 10-year horizon. JCFD's Division Chief Jason Turner says that this purchase has helped about 95% of personal radio upgrades for the department and about 50% of general communication improvements. Not only will the radios have a larger frequency range that allows communication anywhere, from an open field to a concrete building, but it will also connect with smaller departments whose radios only work with a select frequency. We work with our partners across central Missouri and being able to communicate with them on the interoperability level is crucial in a disaster situation and even including our small situations. The Jefferson City Fire Department and Police Department will be receiving 39 and 40 radios respectively. Reporting live in Jefferson City, Marie Moyer, ABC 17 News. Marie, thank you. Currently, the Jefferson City Fire Department has a little over a half than the 40 planned radios.